What is up YouTube, Engineer Mike here with another video and a long awaited video at that. Uh, in this video we are using um, a Sunbreaker Titan and um, we're going to be killing Oryx without the use of a bubble. And uh, we're not going to be shooting ogres or anything with our Touch of Malice. The only thing we're using the Touch of Malice for is to DPS Oryx and kill adds when we're standing inside the aura. The, the weapon that we're going to be using to kill ogres and DPS ogres quickly and efficiently is going to be sniper rifles. Everybody's going to be running a sniper. First and foremost, um, I just want to talk about using a Sunbreaker Titan. Um, for some reason, a lot of people um, don't really use Sunbreaker Titans on works. I don't know why. I know that a lot of people are obsessed with using a bubble on Oryx. You just don't need to. I mean, you can. And um, depending on who you're playing with, it could make your life a lot easier. Um, it, you know, a bubble, a bubble strategy can be good. I just don't prefer it. I like to do this method. As you can see, we're using our sniper rifles for everything here. Um, every, we're getting the ogres down no problem. There's no malices being used right now on the ogres. We're, then we're turning and we're looking for our knights. But first and foremost, like I said, we're talking about the Sunbreaker. So, um, when you're using your Sunbreaker Titan on Oryx, um, you're just gonna, you know, you're gonna do everything normally with your sniper rifles, and then once the Relic Runner, it's important that the Relic Runner calls out that he has the Relic. As soon as he calls it out, you, you use your, you activate your hammers, and you're gonna kill anything you see. If it's, it just adds, whether it's the last ogre that still isn't down, um, use your hammers on it. You can, it's, be, it's better to use your sniper, but if you want to throw some hammers at the ogres, you can. It's not going to, it's not going to be bad. It's not like, it's not like the ogres are going to teleport anymore. They fixed that. But, um, throw them at the ogres. You can, you can throw the hammers at the adds. You can throw the, uh, at the, um, centurions, the acolytes, acolyte eyes. You can throw it at the vessel. Throw it at everything. That's what the hammers are for, to kill crap. I mean, I don't understand, um, you know, just, just. Throw the hammers everywhere, just whatever the hell you see, throw the hammer, hammers at. And if you have the cauterized perk on, you're going to get your health back for every kill you get. Now, Mike, but the, the, the bubble strategy is so much easier. I think some people are missing the point here. This is for no bubble. If you do not want to use the bubble or you do not have a titan in your group because yes sometimes you do the raid without a titan you can use this strategy for no bubble so you know get the fact that a bubble um, can be easier for some people get that out of your heads this is solely for the sunbreaker titan or without using a sunbreaker titan you know in this video I am using a sunbreaker titan but you don't have to be I'll upload another video of me being a warlock and and, and not even using my my self res but um, that's enough talk for the sunbreaker um, you're gonna see me use it in the video and you, you'll get the picture um, now the strategy is pretty simple as I said you're gonna have four people on platforms um, obviously whatever platform the orb is over the relic is over that person is going to be up top um, with the other dedicated support man so you're always going to have two people up top platform platform four and then your dedicated support man everybody's using snipers as you can see we're just melting them we're melting them as soon as they pop up they go down they have no chance to move they get staggered they go down quickly this is all sniper rifles no touch of malice no bubble right here um, and I just use hammers and I'm gonna finish off throwing hammers at the last ogre I've got immolation fists on so I'm creating sunspots at the same time um, Tons of damage then I'm gonna finish off my night Now this is the other important part um, This is the part that you really have to pay attention to because I think this is the part that a lot of people screw up with in the oryx fight it's uh, forgetting to kill your knight or relying on other people to kill your knight. This is the the biggest part you need to pay attention to. Everybody needs to be killing their own knight. If you are on a platform, you are responsible for your knight and your knight only. Nobody should not be asking for help killing your knight. 
nobody should be killing your knight for you everybody needs to remain focused on what they are doing if you do that this method can be super easy absolutely super easy um, you just kill the ogres on your side and as soon as they're both down you turn and look immediately for your knight if you snipe it um, once in the head it takes it down to where you can get a body shot on the next time you don't even have to use sniper rifle I think in the video you see me take it down with my malice just by shooting like six or seven shots into it um, it goes down but that's pretty much it I mean this is the method without using a bubble it's it's really simple um, I just think some people are just so caught up on having to have a bubble Titan of, of having to have blessings of light for um, touch of malice you don't need the touch of malice to be a crutch yes there's more than one way to do this you don't have to use snipers you can use the touch of malice hell you can use um, sleeper simulant if you want to that's another way if everybody's got sleeper take the ogres down with sleeper simulant you can totally do that that is fine I'm not saying that this is the only way to do things but um, this is an awesome method. I do it on my stream. I carry people through the raids like this. Um, and a lot of people love it. A lot of people have been asking me to make the video. Um, I made a video earlier, the same video actually, but it wasn't explained as clearly as this. And it's my fault. You know, I, I take full blame for not explaining it clearly. So I wanted to re upload the video and explain things a little more clear. I'm not necessarily, I'm not talking trash about the bubble strategy. It's a strategy, it works for some people. This is the strategy I prefer. I've completed the raid over 100 times, I think 126 times to be exact to this date across two consoles. I know this strategy works because I've used it every single time. And I've used it without being on a Titan. Like I said, you don't have to be a Titan. This is just an added benefit um, use the hammers use the hammers to your advantage um, This in this video Oryx is starting on my platform a lot, which means the platform across from me um, Is is platform four and our support person is not on that platform. They're up top um, So the, there aren't a whole lot of ads when Oryx starts on my platform But if he starts on r2 the other platform, that's what I call r2 um, there's always a ton of ads and I wish I had the video um, and I, I'll probably put another video up of, of him starting on that side more often because there's a lot more ads you can see me kill more ads some people want to see me kill more ads with hammers but um, just know it can happen um, one last thing with this strategy it's a really 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 um, beneficial thing if people do not wait in the middle for the relic runner to get back so so what I'm saying here is the relic runner grabs the relic hops down and goes to the vessel I know a lot of people have the tendency to wait in the middle dead center um, and wait for the relic runner to get to them you should never ever ever do that when you get off your platform and all the ogres are dead you are to run to the relic runner do not sit in the middle with no protection with no bubble see and that's this is the other thing okay so a lot of people are saying oh well there's no bubble how are we supposed to survive when we're waiting on the relic runner you don't sit in the middle is what I'm saying you run to the relic runner if he's not back to the middle yet he's running back from taking the brand from the vessel run to him you see me doing it in the video you see other people doing it running to the aura do it it's easy it's just it's an easy way to stay alive a lot of this is thinking on your head and another question I know I'm gonna get asked a lot well Mike what if I don't have sniper ammo this is a thing that you have to do as a player make sure you have plenty of sniper rifle ammo make sure you have sense always pay attention to the ground around you pick up sniper ammo when you need it make sure your sniper rifle is reloaded this these are things about being a smart player it's not these aren't skill based things. It's just awareness. It's about being a smart player and being aware of, of your surroundings and what you currently have on your on your guardian or whatnot. So I wanted to re upload this give you guys a better explanation. I hope this helps out. I hope uh, you know people are less salty about my video and uh, Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of it. Um, I hope it helps some of you I hope some of you uh, rely less on a bubble and see that there's actually another way to kill orcs besides using the bubble. 
Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, yeah, peace everybody. I will see you in the next one.